part of my job as a film curator and also um, when I've appeared on film festival juries, I've watched a ton of films um, um, over the last several years. And I think that you really have to be objective because personal tastes are always, um, they always get in the way of, of films that you like, films that you don't like. But I think you have to view films very objectively. Um, is it well edited? Is it well shot? Is there a cohesive narrative? Is there something new um, that you're seeing in this film, whether if it's a short or a feature, whether it's a um, narrative fiction or a documentary? There's always the, there are always these certain kind of objective criteria that you have to bring into viewing a film. And it's very hard, um, I find, to kind of put away your personal tastes because maybe you don't like um, science fiction or maybe you don't like the horror genre or maybe you can't stand romantic comedies, but if it's a, but no matter what it is, if it is a good film, you recognize it. And I think that you have to walk into every single film screening with new eyes, um, completely uninfluenced as much as you can be, completely unbiased um, by everything that, that um, everything that is in your brain, everything that, you know, th that you have a personal proclivity for. And I, what really stands out for me is actually a, a film that's well made and a film that is bringing something new to the table, but at the same time, a film that recognizes um, film history. So it can be something that is completely new, but it but uh, the filmmaker behind it, you know that this person um, has seen all the great um, benchmarks of cinema. And so so that's what I always look for when I'm watching a film, sort of th that new spark um, that a filmmaker is bringing to kind of the history of cinema.